another interesting obstacle. This is kind of a three-tier bridge and, and getting a little more advanced here. So what's the best thing I could do? To start out, just ride around it. Let my horse look at it and become okay about it. Don't forget, man, I like to ride both directions around here. Make sure he kind of sees it with both eyes and becomes more sure. Our job, get these horses where they feel safe, sure, certain, and secure. And so by letting him just walk around, get a little more relaxed about it, here's a good place to start with a bridge like this. I might just come over here and say, cross it like that so he can hear it as well. And when I think this horse is ready, remember what I told you? Especially the elevated obstacles. Don't stop in the middle. Man, that's where I see all the wrecks happen. Then they back up and off they come. And that's not pretty if it's an elevated bridge like this one. So I'm gonna ask my horse to just step forward. I'm gonna to try to keep him straight with my legs. Use a little left leg here, push that hip over and just let him negotiate his way right on down and just kind of be good to him and just take my time in that important component of going slow, slow things down with these horses. But at the same time, I'm gonna try to keep him moving as well. So that makes it fun. Boy, and I tell you what, when I can ride an obstacle like that, I feel like I'm really sure enough making a really nice horse that I can depend on any place and in any situation.